David, congratulations to your first win. Do you know how much games you were uh, without a win in the practice festival? Uh, thank you very much. I think I won two festivals uh, ago and uh, I won two games then and lost one. And uh, I'm wondering, I think it was about round five. So it means that four plus nine plus uh, four, which is 17 probably. You have a very good memory. <laughs> So can you tell us more about uh, today's game? For at one moment it doesn't look so good for you? Uh, for more moments <laughs> it looked bad for me. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Gukesh played very well until a certain moment and he outplayed me. Uh, I w played uh, something creative but uh, okay, sort of missed a pawn. Uh, I had some uh, reasonable looking compensation for the pawn but the compensation uh, was gradually vanishing and uh, at some point I believed that I would lose the game but uh, I was searching for chances I found this idea with king c7 rook to b8 and uh, rook b1 check which was a good idea what could have prevented it and then he would have won and then I found this king b7 uh, then in the bishop end game I played this bishop b2 which is probably good because uh, in pawn end games it is a very big difference whether white has the pawn on a3 or on a4 because on a4 I can take the pawn without uh, any consequences, consequences, negative of consequences for me and uh, then uh, uh, Gukesh found this nice idea of the d4 push, so I, after the time trouble I, I had to sit and wait with my king on b7 or become active and I calculated quite some lines il including this trap which occurred, occurred in the game. Um, it was also important that uh, instead of this bishop b6 I also had a uh, normal draw after some bishop f6 move because there is something like bishop c7, bishop e5, bishop b8, bishop f6. Uh, but bishop b6 was uh, already unpleasant for white and I saw that white could play king g3, g5, f4 instead and after g4, king h4 because in some lines he can exchange the bishops and come with it the king through f6. Mm -hmm. uh, after the game I was told by uh, an arbiter that this was a draw. I was not sure. I saw it but uh, at least it was already black who was pushing and after king f3, uh, g5 there was probably no more salvation for white. Uh, I, I should mention that Gukesh was uh, not completely healthy today, so he was uh, unlucky in this respect and also in other respects. Uh, but uh, I needed to find uh, many ideas. Not I had. I needed not to give up and uh, ser continue searching for chances. Then I needed to calculate quite something just to realize that King A5 is not losing even if White plays uh, F4, which was the critical line in my opinion. But uh, anyway, Black should make a draw without too many problems. And uh, then I should uh, I saw this Bishop B6, which was nice, and this G5 was also a good move, which I found afterwards after playing Bishop B6, and uh, it worked. Yeah, it was really great defense. Yes, and also this, uh, at the end it was important not to push the C pawn because then what could attack the pawn and to generate counterplay. But uh, I found this idea of king C4 or king C5 in the game uh, which uh, allowed me to take the pawn without uh, creating any weaknesses. Okay, let's step aside from chess for a moment. What would you do if you weren't a chess player? Uh, I would probably be a scientist. I don't know, mathematician or social scientist, but in the reality I was n not uh, that good in any of those fields. I mean, I had some talent, uh, but uh, nowhere near uh, my chess talent. I mean, there are definitely more talented players and there are definitely better players. Uh, almost everybody here plays better than me, but uh, I mean, uh, that for me chess still seems uh, like, uh, feels like uh, their best choice. So what would be your scientific elo? I don't know. <laughs> they don't have ratings like this. Uh, <laughs> lower, sh surely. 